Hi everyone, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday. Um, this week we're doing um, some more hearts, um, kind of following on a little bit from last week. Uh, we're going to turn our heart pattern into um, a um, cup warmer, basically. Cup warmer, like this. Here we go. And this pattern is fairly simple. Um, but what I have done, if you watched last week's video, um, you saw how I made this heart, but this heart is actually just slightly bigger. So I'm going to show you how to make a little bigger heart pattern on the front. Okay, so we're going to be making some um, cup holders, uh, cup warmers, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to be using some DK light worsted weight yarn. And this time I'm going to use, that's quite blue on camera, but this is like a purple. And I'm going to use a white as well. This is our very own Happy Berry Baby Snuggles yarn, which you can buy on our website if you want to go check it out. I'm not sure we've got this colour available, but we've got a nice selection of baby colours that you might like. And with the DK, a light worsted weight yarn, which is a yarn weight of three, we're going to be using a 3.5mm E crochet hook. And it's a good idea to have a pair of scissors as well and a yarn needle as well. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so we're going to start off with the purpley blue colour. And what you need to do, because mugs, they come in all different shapes and sizes. I've gone with a fairly standard size mug, but even this one is bigger than, say, this mug here, slightly bigger. So what you need to do is to work out, if I bring in a, a blank mug, which is the same as this one, um, you need to work out how many chains you need to go round the base of your mug. You don't need to worry if it gets slightly wider at the top because we just need to work out how many stitches we need to go round the base. Obviously, if your mug gets really wide, then obviously we'd have to work on some increases or something. But for this pattern, just for a slightly a mug that gets slightly wider at the top, it doesn't matter. We just work out how many chains we need to go round the base of the mug, just below the handle. And for this particular mug, I worked it out to be 50 chains. So I'm going to chain 50 to begin for my mug. So do our little slip knot and then chain 50. So one, two, three, forty-nine, and fifty. So there we go. I've chained fifty, like so. And this is how many chains. I'm going to pull my yarn up slightly. This is how many chains I need to go round the base oops, of my mug. Okay, so just need to work out without stretching it how many chains you need to go round the base of your mug. So I'm just going to hold that at the beginning. This is really, let's turn the mug upside down, that might be easier. I've got very slippery mugs. So there we go. That just works, work out how many chains you need just to go round the base of your mug like that without stretching it too much. So you can see that's just nice and loose like so. And that's how many chains you will need so once you've worked out how many chains you need to go around the base of your cup, or your mug, we then put our hook back in our work, getting in a tangled mess, put our hook back in our work, and making sure your yarn is at the back like that. We need to find our first chain. So put it in a loop like so, make sure your yarn is at the back at the top there. Then find your first chain and just put your hook in your first chain like so. And then take your yarn and bring it through the first chain and straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. So now your chains are joined at the beginning and the end with a little slip stitch. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we are going to chain two, one and two. And we're going to do something a little bit unusual here just to uh, make it a little bit more neat. And what we're going to do is we're going to work some double crochets. So we're going to yarn over. We're going to go back into the same 
chain. So go back into the same first chain and do a double crochet. There's a reason which I'll explain at the end of this round as to why we have technically two stitches including our chain two in that first stitch. And then all we need to do is to work one double crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so we go into the next chain and do a double crochet. And you want to do one double crochet in each stitch around. So you've got a stitch count you end up with a stitch count of 50 plus your chain 2, so technically 51, okay? So I shall do that and then I shall come back. Okay, so one double crochet in each chain around. Okay, just coming up to the last two. Forty-nine and fifty. Okay, so you should have done one double crochet in each stitch around. You should have a stitch count of fifty double crochets plus your chain two, equaling fifty-one. And we want to keep our stitch count at fifty. So normally, I would say to slip stitch into the top of your chain two. Um, but instead, we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch instead. So instead of chaining into the top of the chain two, one, two, we're going to find the first stitch there and put our hook in there and do a slip stitch into there instead to join the round. Okay, so your stitch count should now be 50 and it should look a little something like that. And you can also double check that that fits comfortably over the end of your mug just like that, nice and loose. Okay. okay, so let's move on to the next round. Okay, so for the next round what we're going to do is we're going to chain two and we're going to count that as a stitch again but this time we're going to go straight into the next stitch so don't go into the same first stitch, go straight into the next stitch and do a double crochet. And we're going to do one double crochet in each stitch around up until the last three. Okay, so you don't want to crochet into the last three. So we're going to do one double crochet in each stitch around up to the last three stitches. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. Do one double crochet in each stitch around except for the last three. And then I shall come back. Okay, so just coming up to near the end of the last three. I need to do two more double crochets. Then you should have three stitches remaining, one, two, three. And we want to leave those because that's going to be where our mug handle is going to go. Um, if you have a thinner um, mug handle, then you might want to just leave two stitches or you might just even want to leave one. But for this particular mug, which is about that wide, I'm leaving three, three little stitches like so. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start working on the heart now. And we want to place our heart about halfway over here, about halfway for our stitches. So half of 50 is going to be 25. First thing to do is get your hook back in your work. We're going to chain one and then we're going to turn and we're not going to count the chain one as a stitch, it's just a turning stitch. And then we want to work one double crochet in that very first stitch, in that very first stitch. And then halfway it's going to be about 25 stitches because we've done 50 in total. So about halfway is about 25 stitches. So you want to do one double crochet in the first stitch and then in the next 23, so then that adds up to 24, including that first one, then our 25th stitch, we're going to start working our heart. So one double crochet in the first stitch, then one double crochet in the next 23 stitches. So one, two, 22, 
Then on the last one, the 23rd one, we're going to yarn over as normal, go into that stitch and pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull for the first two, as if doing a normal double crochet. But just before you finish, you want to stop, because we don't want to yarn over with the purple, we're going to yarn over with whatever colour you're making your heart in, so in this case, the white. So I'm just going to place the yarn over the hook instead, hold it with my finger, and bring that through the last two stitches to complete my double crochet and you can just pull your tail ends like so and remember to keep this this way around because this is going to be the inside so once you've worked out roughly halfway um, I've just done one double crochet in the first stitch and then the next 23 so 24 stitches in total gets me roughly halfway about 25 stitches to the middle then when you're working with your heart colour, what we want to do, and what's important is you want to make sure that your purple is carried over, okay? So what I mean by that is, if you watched my last video, um, you'll probably understand this a bit better, but just place your purple colour just on the top there of your stitches, and then we're gonna yarn over with our white, go into the next stitch, and also underneath, make sure that tail end, and uh, not tail end, the yarn you're working with, the purple, is just on top as well. Bring the yarn through the stitch, wrapping it round the purple as well. And then we do a double crochet, but again, we need to just pull through the first two, then stop, and we need to not yarn over with the white, but we need to yarn over with the purple. I just wanna make sure keep the white on the inside going to yarn over with the purple and because you've carried it through the stitch it means it's nice and neat and you're not going to get like a big crossover bar of purple okay so it's tucked nicely inside the stitch and that's the beginning of our heart we don't need to carry over the white we can just carry on as normal with the purple and you just want to work one double crochet to the end now in each stitch to the end so one double crochet in each, stick al each stitch along to the end. Okay. Okay, it's so just coming up to the end. You should still have a stitch count of 50. And the very last stitch is when I get to the end. The very last stitch is going to be the top of your two chain from the previous round so you can see there you turn it over one two top of two chains you've got a nice normal stitch there and just next to it you may think there isn't a stitch but that's the top of your two chains you just want to make sure that you put your hook in there and do a stitch as well otherwise your stitch count will be one less okay so then making sure that's this way round we are going to do the next round and um, we're going to chain one again again don't count it as a stitch and turn and do one double crochet in that first stitch one double crochet then one double crochet in each stitch along until we get back to our heart and we need to need to make sure to change our color in that second stitch before the white but I'll show you I'll just crochet up to there crochet up back to the white heart then 20 okay so one double crochet in the next 20 including that first stitch 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 and then in the 21st one we're going to rejoin the white so we go into the next stitch as normal bring the purple through yarn over pull for the first two but stop we're going to yarn over with our white which should just be on the inside here and because this is going to be the inside it doesn't matter if we get bars going across like that so yarn over with the white and just pull your purple and then we need to do the same thing with the purple again we need to carry it across to the other side of the white so just leave it propped on the top and we're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch which is just to the side of the white making sure to keep your purple on top as 
So one double crochet in the next stitch. Then again, making sure your purple is just propped on the top. One double crochet in the next stitch. So wrap it around that purple yarn. Then we're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch in white as well, but we're going to rejoin the purple. So go into the next stitch, yarn through, yarn over, pull through the first two, then drop your white to the back, pick up your purple, which should just be right there because you've carried it over, yarn over, pull through the purple. Just pull your white tail in. Okay, so we've done one double crochet and the next three in the white, and then we just don't need to carry over the white, we leave the white there in the middle at the back and we're just going to do one double crochet in each stitch along to the end in the purple. Okay. Like so. Okay, just go up to the end. Reach the other end. Making sure to get that last one last stitch right on the corner like so. We've just done one double crochet in the purple to the end and this time what we want to do is we want five white stitches going over to make our heart a little bit bigger so we're going to do the same thing again chain one and turn don't count the chain one as a stitch and then do one double crochet in that very first stitch and then do one double crochet in the next 20. Just want to get back towards that white heart. So one double crochet in the first stitch, then one double crochet in the next 20. So one, two, 19, 20. And then it's in the next stitch, so just two before the white, we want to join the white, so go into the next stitch, that 21st stitch, pull through the first two and then we're going to just put again, put our purple, just prop it on top of our stitches and we're going to rejoin the white. And this is the back so it doesn't matter if it crosses over, bring that through the last two stitches to complete your double crochet and just pull your purple down. And then making sure your purple is just propped on top of your stitches. We're going to do one double crochet in the next five in white. I'm going to rejoin the purple in the fifth one this time. So our next stitch is hidden under that crossover. So I'll just put it underneath. And then making sure your purple's on top. Do one double crochet in your white. And five of these, so one. Next stitch, two, make sure your purple's been carried over, three, four, and then the fifth one we want to rejoin the purple, five, so pull through the first two, then we stop, just put your white down here. This is the back, so we always want to keep our um, yarn ends at the back. And then we yarn over with the purple and instead bring that through. And hopefully you've been carrying the purple through so it's nice and neat. Okay, and then we just finish up. We don't carry over the white, we leave the white there now. And we just do one double crochet in each stitch along to the end. Okay, so one double crochet in each stitch to the end. You should still have a stitch count of 50 if you've been working to this pattern. Okay, just coming up to the end. Last two. Okay, you might find your work's ending up going like that. You want to make sure that that is the inside, like so. 
It should be looking a little something like this so far. And now, last time we did five across, the next one we want to do seven across. Okay, so what we're going to do is the same thing again. We're going to chain one and turn. Don't count that as a stitch. We're going to do one double crochet up to the two before the white. Okay, so however many that is, let's just count. So one, two. So it's going to be two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Okay, so 18. One double crochet in the next 18. One, two, 17, and 18. Okay, which should bring us up to the two stitches before the white. And it's in the next stitch, so the second before the white. It's going to be the 19th stitch. We go in there and want to join our white. So yarn over, pull for the first two and instead of yarning over with the purple we are going to yarn over with the white. Should be at the back. Okay. And then same thing again we want to carry the purple over to the other side. We want to just keep it on the top of our stitches and we're going to do one double crochet in the next seven in white joining, rejoining the purple in the seventh stitch. So go into that purple one there, do a double crochet, making sure to keep your purple yarn on top. So one, two, three, Four, five, that purple on top, six, and the last one seven, and we need to rejoin the purple in the seventh one. So pull for the first two, then stop, put your white to the back to the inside, then bring through the purple instead all your white and, and then we just carry on we don't carry over the white we leave the white in the middle we just do one double crochet in each stitch along to the end back to the beginning okay. now you just go up to the last stitch it's hidden on the corner like so. so, you just do one double crochet in each stitch along to the end. And then what we want to do is now we want to start creating the traditional shape here. And we've done three in the heart colour and then one in our rest of our colour and then three in our heart colour. Um, so what we want to do is we want to do one double crochet in each stitch across up to the same level as the previous row. To do that, we're just going to chain one and turn, don't count that as a stitch, and do one double crochet in that first stitch, one double crochet each stitch along to the edge of our heart. Nineteen and 20 just as normal because you want to keep a straight edge now and in that last purple one before the white we want to join our white so that last purple one the 21st stitch go in the yarn over pull for the first two and then again we want to carry over the purple to the other side so just keep it on the top bring up the white yarn over finish your double crochet with the white Okay, and then we want to do one double crochet in the next three in the white, so and it should be the first white stitch this time. So going into the next stitch, first white stitch, carrying the purple over the top, do a double crochet. So one in the next stitch, two. 
Then it's in the third one we want to rejoin the purple. So third one, pull through the first two. Just put your white down, this is the inside. I always want to put the white down to the inside. Bring up the purple, finish your double crochet with the purple. And then we want to do one double crochet in the purple, but we want to rejoin the white as well. So in the next stitch in your purple, carry over the white actually instead. So you yarn over, go into the next stitch, carry over the white, keep it on top. Yarn over, pull through, pull through the first two, and then bring up the white and finish the double crochet with the white. Okay, so you just want the one in purple. Then we're going to do one double crochet in the next three in the white, remembering to carry over the purple, keeping it on top. So one, two, then three, but it's in the third one we want to rejoin the purple. So yarn over, pull for the first two, put the white down to the inside, bring up the purple, finish your double crochet with the purple. Put the last two with the purple, okay? So you should have three in white, one in purple, three in white. And the reason we join the colour halfway at the end of the double crochet is so that we get perfect alignment with the colour. As you can see here, otherwise this stitch here wouldn't be in purple, it would be in white and the purple would actually be on that stitch there instead. So by joining the colour um, for the last two loops of the previous double crochet, it makes a perfect colour transition. And then leaving the white where it is, and we've actually finished with the white now, so you can trim your white, get it out of the way to stop getting tangled. Just put that down to the inside, and then we're going to finish up with one double crochet in each stitch along to the end in your purple. Let's go up to the end. And now what we're going to do is make sure that's on the inside. Your tail ends on the inside. Should look a little something like that now. Your heart is finished. It should be identical on the inside as well. Um, we're just going to chain one and turn again. And we're just going to do one double crochet in that very first stitch. Then one double crochet in each stitch along, going over the heart all the way to the other end. Okay. So one double crochet in each stitch all the way to the other end over the top of your heart. Okay, okay, just coming up to the end. We've gone all the way across the heart, all the way across the top of the heart, just doing one double crochet. In each stitch across to the other end. And then after your last stitch, what we're going to do is we're going to chain three, which is the three that we skipped down here. We're just going to chain three. One, two, three. So however many um, stitches you skipped, you left alone here, is how many you want to chain at the top now. And then we are going to slip stitch in the first stitch on the opposite side. So find that stitch on the opposite side. Do a little slip stitch like so. Okay, so now we're rejoining our hole as it were. Then what we're going to do, we're going to chain two, count that as a stitch, but what we're going to do is a similar thing to what we did at the beginning. We're going to yarn over and do a double crochet in the same stitch as our chain two, so do a double crochet in there as well. That effectively gives you two stitches in the same stitch if you're counting your chain two. Then we're going to do one double crochet in each stitch across, all the way round, back to the beginning. So just do one double crochet in each stitch around until you get to here. Just coming up to the end. Very last stitch. Then what we want to do is you want to work one double crochet in the three chains across as well. So I'm just going to do one double crochet 
in the chains as well. So one, next one, two, the last one, three. Actually, hear gunfire outside. <laughs> it's obviously the farmers. I live in quite a rural area, so the farmers are uh, out shooting. Probably pheasants, I would imagine. Um, so one double crochet in each of those chains across, and then what we want to do is we want to skip our chain two. So there's our chain two, one, two, skip your chain two and then slip stitch in that very first stitch. It just creates a neater finish. So our stitch count also remains 50. Okay. And there we go, we slip stitched and we finished. And we're going to trim our yarn, pull the yarn through. Then all that's left to do is to tie in your tail ends. So I'm going to tie in all my tail ends using my yarn needle. So all I do is I'm going to go through that stitch again, just get it to the inside and then just sew through a few stitches as neatly as I can, come back in the opposite direction. Now there's helicopters everywhere. I'm presuming it's farmers with the guns. <laughs> and then trim the excess. Off. Okay, so I'm going to tie in all my tail ends and then I shall come back and show you the finished mug warmer. Okay, okay, so I've finished tying in all my ends and this is the finished mug warmer. And the heart is hopefully you've managed to follow on, follow along where to change the colour, but it's basically made up of just one here in the heart colour and then three on top and then five on top. Then seven on top of that, and then three, and then one in the rest of the colour, then three, which are equal at the same side. And you just need to make sure to join, when you want to start your new colour, you just need to join it in the double crochet just before it, okay? So um, if you want to go check out my previous tutorial, actually, on doing a smaller heart pattern in a very similar way, uh, if you want to get used to carrying yarn over and things, you might find that useful as well. But the last thing to do now is to stick it on our mug and see if it fits. So I really hope it does. <laughs> I'm just going to stretch that over for handle, like so. And there we go. There is our little mug holder, like so. And it can go alongside our other one here. So let's just take the camera off and see if we can get a better angle. There we go. There's our little mug warmers. They're not holders, are they? I don't know why you call them holders. They're mug warmers. <laughs> I'm a bit tired today, so I really hope you managed to follow along. Um, and this is actually quite um, a special tutorial in some ways because it's been exactly one year since I've done the Yarn Scrap Friday tutorial. So I've basically done one tutorial every single Friday for the last year, which is quite astonishing really. I think I missed one Friday due to internet problems. Um, and it went out on the Saturday or the Sunday instead. Um, but other than that, I have pretty much released a Yarn Scrap Friday tutorial uh, every Friday for the last year. So yay! <laughs> but I'm going to carry on for as long as I can. Um, I really appreciate your support and kind comments. It keeps me designing. It keeps me feeling in inspired and, uh, and motivated as well. Um, yeah, so I hope you managed to follow along with that tutorial. I hope it uh, helps you design your own uh, mug warmers, not mug holders. <laughs> and I will see you soon, my lovely subscribers, for some more crochet fun. Cheers for watching, guys. Bye.